Now why Black Panthers aren't really Panthers. The truth behind these mysterious big cats. When we think of Black Panthers, images of sleek, shadowy big cats roaming through dense jungles come to mind. They're often portrayed as mysterious, solitary creatures with a sense of enigma surrounding them. But what if we told you that Black Panthers aren't actually Panthers at all? In this video, we're diving deep into the misnomer of Black Panthers and revealing their true identity. Are these animals a separate species? Or are they simply leopards or jaguars in disguise? Let's uncover the truth. The term Black Panther has been used for centuries, both in folklore and popular culture, to describe any large black-coated cat. But in reality, there's no separate species called a Black Panther. These magnificent creatures are actually leopards or jaguars, with a condition known as melanism. Melanism is the opposite of albinism and results in an overproduction of the dark pigment melanin, which gives these cats their striking black appearance. Melanism is a genetic mutation that causes the animal's fur to appear black. It's most commonly seen in leopards and jaguars, though it has been recorded in other species like servals and bobcats. What's interesting is that melanistic leopards and jaguars still have the same rosette patterns on their fur as their lighter colored relatives. If you look closely at a black panther, especially in good lighting, you'll notice the familiar leopard or jaguar spots suddenly visible under their dark coat. So, why do we call them panthers? The term panther comes from the genus Panthera, which includes big cats like lions, tigers, leopards, and jaguars. Over time, the name panther became associated with these mysterious black cats, even though they aren't a distinct species. The term stuck, and now, whenever we see a black big cat, we immediately think panther, even though it could be a leopard in Africa or Asia, or a jaguar in the Americas. Leopards and jaguars are the only big cats where melanism is common enough to be regularly observed in the wild. In the dense forests of Southeast Asia, India, and parts of Africa, Black leopards are more common, possibly because their dark coloration offers them an advantage in low-light environments. This helps them stay hidden from prey and competitors. Jaguars with melanism are also found in the dense rainforests of Central and South America, where their black coat provides a similar advantage in thick underbrush and shadowy jungle.
But why does melanism occur in these big cats? Scientists believe it may offer several advantages in certain environments. For predators like leopards and jaguars, a darker coat can help them blend into shadowy habitats, making it easier to ambush prey. In fact, some studies suggest that melanistic cats may have a higher hunting success rate in areas where their coloration helps them stay hidden. Additionally, it's been suggested that melanism could be linked to a stronger immune system, giving these black cats an edge in surviving diseases in their natural environment. Interestingly, melanism doesn't affect the black panther's behavior or physiology beyond its coat color. Melanistic leopards and jaguars are just as skilled hunters as their non-melanistic counterparts. They follow the same behaviors, stalk the same prey, and defend their territories with the same ferocity. In fact, many people aren't even aware of their true identity when they see one of these elusive cats in the wild. And it's fascinating to think that the black panther is really just a leopard or jaguar hiding in plain sight. These animals have adapted to their environments through natural selection. And their striking appearance is just one example of how nature can evolve in unexpected ways. But despite their beauty and intrigue, black leopards and jaguars are still under the same conservation threats as their lighter colored counterparts. Leopards and jaguars are both considered vulnerable species, facing habitat loss, poaching, and conflict with humans. As their habitats shrink, these majestic cats, both melanistic and non-melanistic, are being pushed closer to extinction. While the myth of the Black Panther may continue to captivate our imaginations, the real story is about them and the... Yes, Shawm, the need to protect these incredible animals, regardless of their color. So, the next time you hear about a black panther, remember that it's not a separate species. It's a magnificent leopard or jaguar with a rare genetic trait. These animals are not just icons of the wild. They're vital parts of their ecosystems, and they deserve our protection. Whether golden or black, leopards and jaguars are powerful symbols of the wild places we must fight to preserve. <laughs>